Uh, Scott Burgess, uh, Prep Hoops Network and uh, Prep Hoops Indiana here with uh, Kyle Guy. Um, talk about how the experience has gone this week at the McDonald's game, uh, practices, jam fest, just in general, how's it gone? Yeah, it's been fantastic. I mean, all the all the great players here, it's really competitive. Everyone's playing hard, going as hard as they can, uh, trying to make a name for themselves. Uh, I think it's making everybody play at a higher level. Um, all the cool experiences we've had, like the Jam Fest was, I mean, that was awesome. Yeah. Was some of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. Went to the Ronald McDonald House. Just a little bit of everything. Um, then playing here at the United Center, the house that Jordan built is going to be great. Okay. Now, last night in the dunk contest, you know, you didn't make the dunk, but you were what everyone was talking about then. Kind of talk about the process of coming up with that dunk. You know you needed a 70 to win, or to tie and go to overtime. Yeah. Did you, Was that on the, like, a spur of the moment thing? or? Well, what's funny is, besides the dunk where I switched hands, yeah. I had never tried any of those dunks <laughs> my entire life. They just they asked me to do it, and I'd been in a couple dunk contests before, so I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Why not want to be on ESPN? Right. right? So um, I did. I threw it off the side of the backboard, and I jumped over the two uh, the girls from Indy, and then um, the one from the balcony. I went up. There's 45 seconds on the clock. I went up, and I had to, you know, I had to get a 70. And, I had no idea what I was going to do. I was actually just going to jump, and then whatever happened, happened. Mm -hmm. But the dude who was holding the ball was working for the TV network. He was like, why don't you throw off the balcony? <laughs> yeah, might as well throw off the balcony, right? So he threw off the balcony. Unfortunately, couldn't connect. But uh, just hearing how, how hype everyone got, even though right. I missed, was awesome. Now, on the one where you tipped it to yourself, like that was kind of one of those dunks that I think they mentioned on the broadcast. It was kind of like back in the day with the Vince Carter dunk where they're like, you didn't notice it at first. I know yeah. I didn't see it at first. And then they looked at the replay and they changed their score. What was that whole process yeah, no, like? If, I think if they would have, I feel like if I could have been on the mic and be like, hey, this is what I'm about to do. Yeah. And they saw it, it would, would have been different. Uh, they recounted the score, but I don't know if they, I never heard if they actually recounted it for, yeah. the, for the judges or whatever. But I mean, I'm just there to have a great time, so. Talk about your senior year um, this year in high school and how do you think it went for you individually and you guys as a team? Yeah, and, I mean, individually, uh, it went well. Uh, my, my goal was to win Mr. Basketball. Uh, individually, they announced that April 28th. Um, but as a team, I think we we came together in the last uh, four weeks, I'd say. We proved a lot of people wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, no one had us getting the sectional championship when we got there. We uh, should have won and we went dry in the second half. But... Mm -hmm. um, if we went and went cold, we probably could have been playing this past Saturday. Mm -hmm. I think the sky was the limit for this team, but I'm proud that we left it all on the floor. Okay, now headed to Virginia next year. Why were they your choice, and how much fun was it to watch them have such a great year this year? Uh, it was surreal to see them. This is the third year in a row that they've just been outstanding top five mm -hmm. team in the country. They almost had 30 wins for the third straight uh, third straight year. So uh, being able to go play for Tony Bennett, one of the most decorated coaches in, in mm -hmm. the world right now, um, and he's, I mean, it's a Christian program, and I like that. Um, they have a really good plan for me and for the team. I, when I was on campus, I got my, that gut feeling everyone talks mm -hmm. about, so it was a no-brainer for me.